Good morning and welcome to a terrific Tuesday. All right, it is Subtraction Tuesday. Good morning, Paige, Sadie, Zachary, A's, Kellen, Victoria, Ree, Jenna, Mikhail, King, John, Patrick, Kira, Halen, Spencer, RJ, William, Michael, Cody, Chloe, Logan, Dominic, Aurelia, Olivia, and Nevea. I hope you're having a great day. All right, where is Subtraction Tuesday? And I, I want us to go back to double digit subtraction. And I want you to understand, the main thing I want you to understand is why it's so important for you to always start with your ones place when you're subtracting, okay? It's really, really important. I know you're like, well, whatever, Ms. Burke. Why is it so important? Well, I'm gonna show you today. Okay, so we're gonna do different strategies to solve these problems. The first one is 47 minus 31. Let's see if you remember this strategy. We're connecting our ones. Okay, now we're actually gonna, I'm gonna show you twice on this. Connect our ones, connect our tens. Well, first, like I said, let's do the ones place, okay? Seven minus one. Seven minus one is six. Four minus three. If I have four, I take away three, I got one left. Okay, so that's 16, okay? Now, let's go up here and say, hmm, seven, let's do the tens first. Four minus three. Oh, okay, that's one. Seven minus one. Six, well, they're the same as first, so what does it matter? Uh, this problem, they're the same. But let's see if they're all going to be the same, okay? So this problem over here, I want to turn it into an up and down problem. We're going to go vertically. Vertically is up and down. Remember how I showed you. 89 minus 16. Okay? And then I'm going to do it again. And we're going to see if they're the same. Okay, what is 9 minus... Oh, let's separate them. We like them in their rooms. We're going to start with the ones. What's nine minus six? Well, I could count backwards or I can count up. Well, remember what I told you when it's one and five. Count up. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's three. Yes, three. Oh, some of you beat me. Good job. Eight minus one. Well, when it's less than five, count backwards. Eight, seven. Seven's the answer. 73. Now, let's try doing the one this way first, okay? 8 minus 1. What is 8 minus 1? Well, we did it. 8. So we're going to count up. 7. 9 minus 6. 9 minus 6. Count up. 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, 3. subtraction all we have to do is cross off that many so I'm going to cross off five start with my ones one two three four five okay now I'm going to cross off two yeah one two of the tens because all these are six are worth ten each if I was to break them I could break them into ten of these little ones Okay, now 
I'm going to count how many ones are I left? One. How many tens? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so that equals 51. Let's draw a picture. One more, one more picture, okay? So, we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now I'm going to cross off because I'm subtracting. I'm taking away. Okay. Now, I'm going to start with my tens this time, though, to see if they're the same. I'm going to cross off two. One, two. I'm going to cross off five. One, two, three, four, five. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. One. Once again, they're the same. You're like, Miss Burke, you're tricking us. We, it doesn't matter. Oh, this last one is going to get us, I think. I just want to try one more. Let's try the picture, okay? So I'm going to draw 52. It's pretty easy. One. Or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2. Okay. And then I'm going to draw 52 again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 2. Now, what happens? Let's see here. I'm going to cross off 24, right? So I'm going to start with my ones. One, two. Wait a minute. I don't have four to cross off. What am I supposed to do? I don't have four. Oh, let's try this. Oh, let's cross off these. Four. And then I cross off two tens. Okay, so it's one ten, so it's ten. Hmm, this doesn't seem right. Well, it's 52 minus 24. Well, this doesn't seem right to me. I, you know what, I want to do our um, number bond to see if we're right, okay? Let's just, I, I just want to be sure. So. With this, remember with subtraction, our first number, 52, is going to be the top number. Okay. Now the other two numbers, when I put them down there, they should add together to get 52. So I'm going to put 24 and 10. Okay. 24 plus 10, 24 plus 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Wait a minute. Something is not right, is it? This does not work. When you when we cross off those, those weren't crossing off ones. Those were crossing off tens. They're not the same. I want to show you how to do it, okay? I'm going to show you how. So, we still have 52. I'm going to cross off 24. And this is why, because sometimes we won't have enough of these, and this is what we have to do to get enough, okay? So, I'm going to say two, but I, I want to give you four. What can I do? I'm going to do it in reverse. Remember when we had our points and we would uh, put our points together and I'd give you a 10 back? Well, you can do the opposite. If I, if you give me 10, a 10 stick, I could give you 10 little ones back. So I'm going to cross off of this guy. He's a 10, but I'm not just randomly crossing him off, okay? I am going to give you back 10 little ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
Okay, so I've given you 10, and I've taken that one. Now, I think we can do the problem, because if I need to give you four, I have enough now. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Now, this guy's gone. He's, we're not counting him. So I'm gonna cross off two more tens. One, two. Now, let's see what we have left, okay? So we count my ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. How many of these? Two. Twenty-eight. Let's see if this is right. So we're going to put 52 up here. 24 and 28. Now, 8 and 4 more is 12. Remember when, I, when we did um, this? That would be a 2. And then I had to put the 1 up here. I'd be regrouping. 2 plus 2 out of the tens is 4 plus 1 more. Guess what? We got this one right. So, why is it so important to always start with your ones? Because if you switch around, you're going to get confused. So do it now and get it in your brain to always start with your ones. That way, no matter what, you're going to be able to start your problem the right way. You don't want to be confused. If you start with the ones, you'll be able to do the problem no matter what. Okay? Start with your ones. All right. Yesterday, we had a couple of problems, and I'm going to go back to them really quick. I have it right here. We were adding doubles. Okay? And we were adding double digit doubles. So it's 20 and 20. Well, 20 plus 20 is 40. And if I add a double plus one, so I have 40, right? If I add a double plus one, I just have to add one more. I bet some of you got those answers right. I have a feeling some of you did. Okay, let's do a word problem. Okay. All right. Let's see. Mikhail. a little windy today. He gives Kara 37 marbles. How many does he have left? Putting a question mark at the end of that because it's a question and I put a period there. Okay, so Mikhail has 63 marbles. He gives Kira 37 marbles. How many marbles does he have left? I'm gonna see if you can figure that out. Remember, what number are you going to start with? Your ones place. Okay, start with the ones place. You'll need to. And once you get your answer, try checking it with a number bond to make sure you're right. Okay, have a great day. I will see you back here tomorrow for Science Wednesday where we're going to finish making cookies to see how
different combinations and mixtures can change and grow. All right, bye for now.